Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Winkins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool cartoonish and comic book effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see right here, here is what the video looks like. It creates this really cool cartoonish and comic book effect. It obviously looks really fake, and it doesn't look um, real. So let's go ahead and just disable it. And as you can see right here, it's not doesn't at all look real. So it creates this really cool cartoonish and this really um, uh, fake effect. Now, unfortunately, Final Cut Pro 10 doesn't really have a great comic book. I mean, a cartoonish looking effect um, built into the program. But they actually have an effect called Comic Basic. And that's the effect that I actually used in um, this video. But it's still, I'll still call it a cartoonish effect because it kind of borders in between cartoon and comic book. As you can see right here. This is what the effect looks like so right here is an adjustment layer right there and then i just applied the comic basic effect so let's go ahead and go over here to the effects panel and just type in or you could just type in a comic book or you could go to comic look and as you can see right here let's go ahead and just disable it uh, go ahead and just disable it right here and let's go over to comic book as you can see right here let's see if we can try to get this right or not um, let's go ahead and just dis let's take this adjustment layer um, and put it right here for a second. And that's going to kind of show you what the different looks are. As you can see right here, here is what you have comic basic right here. And then you kind of have this really cool comic cool effect. You have um, comic mono, comic ink, and then you have this one and here. So it kind of creates a whole, bunch, a whole bunch of different looks you could go for. You can kind of go through and figure out which look um, is best for um, your video so literally just go and do comic looks and you have a whole bunch of different options um, right here so the effect that I went for was comic basic so the effects panel and then under comic looks right here I just applied comic basics so this is the effect that I went for so on the clip right here let's go ahead and enable it right here as you can see right here you could change um, the color you could change it gray you could change it back to black and white or you could just change it to the actual um, color now right here in black and white you can also mess with the different colors so you could have a color that looks like this if that's the color you want to go for so there's a whole bunch of different settings and different varieties you can do with this effect you can also mess with the smoothness so you can see right here this is what the different effect will look like you can mess with the ink edges right here and whatever um, looks best for you you could mess with the ink smoothness um, that doesn't quite look good but it depends on what look you're going for you could mess with the um, ink fill um, and then you could just mess with this right here I don't think most people would mess with that but and then you can kind of have like if you want to put like a mix if you don't want a full cartoonish comic book effect you can kind of go in the middle and say it's like half real half comic book um, effect as you can see right here then pretty much you, can do. you just kind of mess with these settings and kind of get the or just keep messing with it until you get um, your desired look and that's literally what the effect is called it's called comic look so comic basic so just go in your effects panel and right here and here are a whole bunch of different looks and again it creates this uh, cartoonish comic book um, and fakish um, effect. Well, it's definitely a really cool idea. And I kind of want to make this video just to make people aware that these effects um, do exist because I didn't know these uh, these effects existed for a long time, and thankfully I figured out that these effects actually do exist. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you want to see new, if you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every single day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos consider hitting that subscribe button i also have a final cut pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 90 final cut pro 10 tutorials so if you want to learn more about final cut pro or you just or just enjoy watching final cut pro 10 tutorials definitely go ahead and check that playlist out anyways see you in the next one peace